Hi everyone, my name is Amber Benoit. I am a seamstress, sewing teacher, and a little bit of a superhero here in Rochester, New York. And today I've got a tutorial for you to make non-paper towels. That's right. How many of us have gone to the store trying to find these right now and couldn't find them? This is a different solution for you. It's a reusable paper towel and you can make it with something that you can find right around your house. Okay, so to get started on this project, you're going to need a few materials. The first thing you're going to need is two pieces of fabric. They're going to need to be 12 by 13 inch in size. This is going to give you about the size that you're going to need to fit on a roll of uh, paper towels already. So um, what you want is one piece. It can be any kind of fabric. I've used cotton fabric for this. Uh, so there's my 12 by 13 piece of that. And then the other piece, you want it to be a terry cloth because it's kind of an absorbent material that's good for cleaning. In this case, I have actually upcycled uh, an old uh, towel of mine. So we've got a piece of terry cloth cut in a 12 by 13 from an old towel. And you're going to need some cam snaps. Cam snaps are these plastic snaps. There's different sizes. You're going to want extra long, especially if you're dealing with an old um, thick towel because that will actually go through and those snaps are what's going to hold the different sheets together so on the finished one here you can see I've got a little snap right there and if you go to the back side okay you have that nice smooth surface so cam snaps they have two parts they have the spindle and then they have the male end and the female end that when you put together snap together and then you can take them back apart. Now that you've got all your materials, let's go ahead and start assembly. First thing we want to do is we want to take that piece of terry cloth and that piece of cotton or whatever your other fabric is and press them. Yes, press them, please. It actually makes it a lot easier to work with the terry cloth. You also might want to consider when you're cutting this out using pinkering shears uh, along the edge because that keeps it from fraying too badly. Once you've got those nice and pressed, you're going to be putting them together right sides together. Now remember, we're not dealing with a square. We're dealing with a 12 by 13, which is a little bit of a rectangle. So you want to make sure that you're attaching them the right way. You see how here I've got a little bit of a, a gap? We don't want that gap. <laughs> okay, so we're going to turn it around this way. So that actually matches up. And then you're going to go ahead and pin it all the way around, leaving a little bit of an opening uh, to turn it right side out. So about a two, three inch opening, depending how big your fingers are. All right, so let's go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. And like mine, I used horizontal pinning, but you can pin anyway. The, really the point behind the pinning is just to make sure that the two pieces of fabric stay together, especially along the edge where we're going to be sewing. We want to make sure that's nice and lined up. Okay, now the next step is going to be to sew around the edges. So you've got a rectangle here. You want to sew down and around all the corners, leaving on one side just a little bit of an opening. Okay, one more quick pointer though, before you start to sew, make sure that you're sewing within about a half an inch seam allowance. That's what I've given if you want it to match up within what a normal roll of paper towels is. If you don't care about that, then whatever seam allowance you're comfortable with is fine. I used a half an inch in this pattern because you're dealing with thicker fabrics and when you invert it, you're going to be happy having a little bit extra for it to lay flat. Okay, so now that we've got it all sewn around the edges and you've got that little two inch gap, we're going to go ahead and invert it. But first, very important, and I tell all my students this, make sure that you clip your corners. It is especially true for this. You've got all that thick fabric. If you try to turn it right side out without clipping the corners off your piece, then you're going to wind up with a big, huge, thick bump that's going to be annoying to sew over practically impossible actually with this fabric <laughs> and you're going to just it's not going to look good guys it's going to not be really nice and pointy okay so we're just going to clip the corners and you want to make sure that you're clipping the corners not over your uh your seam so you don't want to clip over your seam not a good thing okay guys now that you've got your corners clipped we're going to go ahead and invert your piece. So you want to find that opening that you made and we're going to just pull the fabric through that opening. Uh, as I mentioned before, you want a two to three inch opening. It makes it a little easier for this project to turn it right side out. If you do more than that, that's fine. It's just um, 
it's not as durable of a closing and it's kind of harder to do the final step here of closing up that opening. Make sure that you poke, you poke out your corners really good. Uh, that way you get that nice clean um, corner look. And if you can't do it with your fingers, just grab something like a chopstick or a pencil and poke it out. Those work really well. Now it's actually starting to look like a cloth. See that? Nice pretty corners. Should look something like this. So the next step is going to actually make it hold its shape a lot better. We are going to do a top stitch all the way around um, about a quarter inch from the edge. But if it's not exactly a quarter inch again, that's fine. But try to keep about a quarter inch from the edge because when we top stitch over this opening, it's actually going to be closing it up. Okay. If you are a perfectionist like me, <laughs> you might want to just take a, an iron to this before you actually do that top stitch. The iron is going to help you lay your fabrics really nice and neat, um, especially with that seam. You want it to be nice and pretty and neat. A lot of times the biggest mistakes are people take the terry cloth and roll it up kind of like that. So you have this really long line when you look at it from the front where you just, even if you see just a little bit of the terry cloth, you want this nice, pretty, neat line. Okay, so let's go do our top stitch all the way around the edges, okay? Just like magic, there's our top stitch. You can see how now it keeps its shape a lot better. Look at that. And if I flip it over, there is my paper towel. Woohoo! There it is. So the last step would be to add the cam snaps. And that's going to be uh, used for keeping more than one sheet of these together. So I've shown you guys a couple times my other completed one. I've already added the snaps to this one, but we're going to add it to this guy so that I can keep these together on a roll, kind of like paper towels. All right, so you want to find the narrow end of the cloth towel that you've made. Now, right now I'm looking at the pattern side. You want to flip it over so that you've got your terry cloth side. Take one of your cam snaps and right in that corner, probably about a half an inch to three quarter inch from each edge, you're going to push that snap through. So on the other side, you will have just the point sticking out kind of like that, and then kind of like that. All right, now grab a female end and stick it on that right side. Put it into the pliers, press really hard, Ugh. use all those muscles. <laughs> and what you're gonna see is that the point smushes down holding that piece to the cap. Okay, so we've got them on one side. Now let's put them on the other side so you can connect this paper towel to another paper towel that you can make after this video. The other side of your paper towel, you are going to be putting the cap on the colorful side or your cotton side, the not terry cloth side. Again, you wanna do it about three quarters of an inch from the edge in both directions, kind of get it all squared there. And then this time you're gonna be grabbing a male end which is the part that goes into the snap. So same process, you're gonna put the male end onto the spindle, use your pliers, and squeeze. I think that's my favorite part of doing cam snaps, guys. <laughs> okay, so now I've got a male end and a female end, and if I was to go like this and round them about, they would snap together, just like a nice pretty circle. All right, go ahead and put the other one on. Okay, now you guys should have a completed uh, non-paper towel. You can make several of these and connect them together, again, using the snaps. And just as a quick review, on one end of the shorter end of your non-paper towel, you're going to have, see the cam snap covers on one end with the male end on the back on the terry cloth. And on the other side, you're going to see the female here with the cap on the terry cloth. When you connect these together, Basically what you do, find the right ends here. So here I've got one piece with the caps on this side and one piece here with the female ends on here and I just snap them together. Okay, and then instead of using a paper towel, you would just roll these up and you can use an old paper towel tube. The size will fit them. Uh, and you could roll them on top of there. 
So you just take a whole bunch of these and roll them up, and then that guy sits on your counter. And then when you need a paper towel, whoop, and you tear it away. Just like that. Maybe a little bit easier on your counter. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my tutorial today. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel below. And if you have any other questions or if you are interested in taking sewing lessons for me, go to sewingbyamber.com. You've got two choices. I do virtual lessons right now because of everything going on. And I also have an online sewing course for beginners that comes out in May. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time.